Hey everybody and welcome. Uh, I decided I would take a look at my uh, my life and reevaluate everything. No, uh, <laughs> I just decided that I, a little while ago I noticed that this uh, <laughs> sorry this um, tutorial, the Learn OpenGL tutorial, updated a few things. One of the things was they used this new um, new third-party library called GLAD. So I thought, okay, I better see how that works. And if I'm going to follow the tutorial, which I want to for, for others things, because it's a really good tutorial, I wanted to make sure I had the uh, foundation still solid. So anyways, I figured out that I've already, um, uh, I've already got, let's see, this particular project I tried and I may have made a video I doubt it though for uh, to use the glad um, he tells you how to do this uh, use the glad library you just go to the glad website you specify um, core profile 3.3 OpenGL your operating system and then it gives you the files so that's pretty easy I'm not going to cover that because I've already got the files I've got the glad C right there and then the other stuff is in here, glad, glad.h, and then there's another directory, the khr, which has that. Um, that's all you need. You need the khr, you need the glad.h, and you need the glad.c. Um, so let's see if we can get glfw up and running. First create a cpp file, which I'm just going to go into main and delete it all. It's gone. Imagine that. It's gone. So what we're going to do is include glad glad, include glfw, glfw. There we go. That's it. Include glad. There. Include glfw. I've copied those files all over the place. Okay, so I'm sure to include GLAD before GLFW. The include file for GLAD contains the correct OpenGL header, includes like GL, GL.h. So including GLAD before other header files that require OpenGL does the trick. Okay. Next, we create the main function where we will instantiate the GLFW window. Okay. I'm all for that. Instantiating the GL. Oh, I wonder if I can just directly copy and paste that. Perfect. So this is actually really good. I'm just going to go ahead and go like this. Don't know what this last one is, but it's commented out. This is the main function. We first initialize glfw with glfw init, after which we can configure, configure glfw using glfw window hint. There's three calls to it there. The first argument tells us what option we want to configure, where we can select the option from a large enum of possible options prefix with glfw. The second argument is an inner sets the value of our option. List of all possible options. Let's correspond with glfw. Trying to run the application now gives a lot of undefined reference errors. Means you didn't successfully link the GLFW library. Since focus of website is really like this, okay. And just so you know, when starting from scratch with a project, you would want to go into properties for that project and set up the directories, which I've already done. Set your includes, set your libraries, come down to linker, input, you're going to link in OpenGL32, glfw3.lib, in this case I'm using soil.lib, libglue32.lib, okay, so that's how I, and I'm not even sure we're going to use lib32, glue, libglue32.lib, because I think glad replaces that, but don't quote me on that just yet. Okay, so focus was there's three main like changes. This is open there's one to use. 
This way she's going to prep arrangements, blah, 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 core profile, OpenGL, GLFW, open OpenGL core profile. Oh, cool. That's cool. Telling GLFW explicitly that we want to use the core profile means we'll get access to a smaller subset of OpenGL features. Without backwards compatible features, we no longer need. Ah. Note that on Mac OS X, you need to add GLFW window hint. GLFW open GL forward compat true to your initialization code for it to work. Oh, that's the one that's commented out. Okay, well then we'll just delete that because we don't need that. We're not on a Mac OS X. Next, we're required to create a window object. This window object holds all the windowing data and is used quite frequently by OpenGLs, by GLFWs, other functions. Okay. So we can put this right into main, right there. Oh, copy and paste how you mess with me here. And as usual, I like to go. I think I need to include something else too. The GLFW create window function requires the window width and height as its first two arguments. The third argument allows us to create a name for the window. For now, we call it Learn Open GL, but you're allowed to name it however you like. We can ignore the last two parameters. The function returns a GLFW window object. So that's a GLFW window pointer window. So that's right there. That we'll later need for other GLFW operations. After that, we tell GLFW to make the context of our window the main context on the current thread. GLFW make context current right there. Terminate. Okay. In the previous tutorial, we mentioned GLAD. The GLAD manages function pointers for OpenGL, so we want to initialize GLAD before we call any OpenGL function. That makes sense. We pass GLAD the function to load the address of the OpenGL function pointers, which is OS specific. GLFW gives us GLFW get procedure address that defines the correct function based on which OS we're compiling for. <laughs> Oh, I hate that copy paste when that does that, but it's fine. We're just going to clean it up here. Okay. And I don't like my open squigglies on the same line as my thing. Okay. Anyways, so that works. So glad load GL loader. Glad load procedure. Oh boy, look at all the stuff on that particular function. Okay. Before we can start rendering, we have to do one last thing. We have to tell OpenGL the size of the rendering window, so OpenGL knows how we want to display the data and coordinates with respect to the window. We can set those dimensions via GL viewport function. The first two parameters, GL viewport, set the location of the lower corner of the window, third and fourth set the width and height. Okay, so that's it. Behind the scenes, that is just, behind the scenes, OpenGL uses the data specified via GL viewport to transform the 2D coordinates it processed to coordinates on your screen. For example, a processed point of location would add its final transformation be mapped to 200, 450 in screen coordinates. Note that the process coordinates in OpenGL are between zero and negative one, negative one and one. So we effectively map the range negative one to one to zero, 800, and zero, 600. However, the moment a user realizes resizes the window, the view court should be adjusted as well. We can register a callback function on the window that gets called each time the window is resized. This resized callback function is the following prototype. Okay, let's not get ahead of ourselves quite yet. GL viewport. 
So right down here, GL. Done, done like dinner. Okay, and then excuse me. This is cool right here. Look at this. This is your prototype for the function. Let's just go ahead and throw it up here. And then we should actually create the function down there. Right there. Oh. Oh, why, oh, why, oh, why. There. There. Okay, then you obviously have to tell right here. Snap frame buffer size callback. There you go. That'll make it. When the window is first displayed, frame buffer size callback gets called as well with the resulting window dimensions. For retina displays, for retina displays width and height will end up significantly higher than the original input values. What does that sentence mean? <laughs> for retina displays width and height will end up <laughs> There are many callback functions we can set to register our own functions. For example, we can make a callback function to process joystick input changes, error messages, keyboard and mouse, obviously. We register the callback functions after after you created the window and before the game loop is initiated. Right. Okay, ready your engines. We don't want the application to draw a single image and then immediately quit and close. The window wants the application drawing images and handling user into the process. Tell them to stop for this reason we create a while loop that we now call the render loop that keeps on running until we tell GFW to stop the following function is a very simple render loop oh this is talking about the actual render loop the game loop if you will boom oh copy paste why why do you do this there okay the GLF window should close function checks at the start of each loop iteration if GLFW has been instructed to close. If so, the function returns true, and the game loop stops running, after which we can close. The GLFW pull events function checks if the, any events are triggered, like keyboard input and mouse movements, updates the window state, and calls the corresponding functions, which we can set via callback methods. The GLF swap buffers will swap the color buffer, a large buffer that contains color values for each pixel in the window that has been used to draw in during this iteration and show it as the output to the screen. One last thing, build a buffer. When an application draws in a single buffer, there's only going to display flickering issues because it's worth it. And this tells you that basically you're using two buffers and swapping back and forth between the two. One that is displayed at the time and then one that is always written to and then as soon as you're done writing to the back buffer it's swapped to the front. Okay. As soon as we exit the render loop, we would like to properly clean, delete all resources that were allocated. We can do this with GLFW terminate function that we call at the end of the main. And we already have return. Save that. This is not going to compile, I'm guessing, because of the uh, something left out. It's a very dull and boring black image. You did things right. If you didn't get the right image or you're confused as how everything fits together, check the full source code here. I just want to see the full source code right now. Show me. Include IO stream. Uh, okay. I knew something was missing. Ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum, ba -da -bum. There. Um, anything else? Frame of process input. What did it do? Oh, this is great. Let's put this in, actually. Process input. Oh, and I like how it does that right there with the constants. Let's put that in too. 
first let's do the process input okay so there's your function um, declaration and we'll come down here and declare or uh, def define it we will define it oh we'll keep the comments too I like commenting I like comments process all input so there you go because I noticed this has the escape key in there which I like it when you're when you use the escape when you can use the escape key to close what you're working on okay what else what else what else I like these I like these up front like that so we're going to use those and then we'll just come down here and change this to And then there was one other spot right here. All right, look at the code. See what else? We've got all that. If define Apple, well, that's cool. Okay, create window, window equals null, fail to create window. There's a little error checking in there. Fail to load glad. Okay, so now we've got it. Compile. Holy smokes, it worked for compiling the first time. When does that ever happen? Tell me when that happens. Go ahead, I'm waiting. No. <laughs> and it draws a blank window. That's pretty awesome. Okay. Well, that is called uh, starting the tutorial from scratch. I just wanted to make sure I could get that. We're gonna do. A, we're gonna look through the tutorial next for another video I'll make shortly. But thank you for watching. Be sure to like and subscribe and uh, link to this wherever you can on the internet if you want. I'm gonna eventually look into uh, doing some live streaming and get into playing some video games. But for now, we're gonna, and that would include the GameCube and the Nintendo Wii U. Yeah, because anyways. Um, also, we want to really get into OpenGL. I'm ex super excited to get into it and uh, learn all of the nuances. And then possibly Vulkan. And then uh, return back to Direct3D12 uh, eventually. All right. Thanks again. And I uh, hope you look forward to uh, future videos as I do.